guys, Dale here from Line Components. Today I'm going to show you how to service one of our Contour internal dropper posts. These are the tools you'll need for the service. A Contour internal service kit, an Allen key multi-tool, side cutter pliers, a rubber mallet, a shifting spanner with a piece of leather, a long screwdriver, some paper towel, some isopropyl alcohol with a cloth you don't mind throwing away, a vernier caliper, and some masking tape. Use your masking tape to mark your saddle height. This will make it easier when you reinstall the dropper post. Remove the dropper post from your bike. Give the post a good clean using your paper towel. It's time to open up the post. Clamp it in a work stand if you have one. Wrap your piece of leather around the lower mechanism. Adjust your shifting spanner to the right size and loosen the lower mechanism. You can hold your saddle for better leverage. Keep loosening until the lower mechanism slides out. You will see two small grub screws in the lower mechanism. Use a 2mm Allen key to completely loosen these out. You can now slide off the lower mechanism. Slide out the steel rod. Loosen the collar of the dropper post. This should just be hand tight. Slide out the stanchion. now time to clean the lower tube. Punch up some paper towel and push it through using a long screwdriver. You'll want to repeat this process a couple times until it's completely clean. Have a look inside the tube and make sure it's completely clean inside. Use your paper towel to clean the stanchion and the area around the brass keys. Unclip the lower and upper bushings. Use a cloth with the isopropyl alcohol to get it really clean. Use your side cutters to gently remove the brass keys. It's really important that the brass keys are completely clean or the side cutters will not grip. The Contour XS dropper post only has two brass keys. Give the slots on the stanchion a good clean. Slide off the upper cap. You now need to remove the main seal off the upper cap. This can be done by hand. Clean out the upper cap. Add some of the grease that was supplied with your service kit. Install the new seal. Add the garter ring clip to the seal. Slide the upper cap back onto the stanchion. Slide it past the brass key slots. Add some grease to the brass key slots. On your fresh brass keys, you will see a small indentation. This indentation must face outwards. Place the stanchion on a soft surface and insert the brass key by hand. Use your rubber mallet to gently tap in the brass key. Again, make sure the indentation is facing outwards. Repeat this process for the remaining brass keys. Use your vernier caliper to measure the distance between the brass keys. Compare your dimensions to this table to make sure that they've been inserted correctly. Add some grease to the recess at the bottom of the stanchion. Clip 
Strip on the fresh bushings from your service kit. Make sure the upper bushing is orientated correctly. You'll see a small key on the lower bushing. Rotate this so it lines up with the middle brass key. On the contour excess dropper post, you can line up the bushing to either of the brass keys. Now add a generous amount of grease to the lower tube. You can spread some of this grease onto the threads of the upper cap. Rotate the lower tube so that the back markings are facing outwards. Insert the stanchion into the lower tube. Line up the middle brass key with the back of the dropper post. Tighten up the collar by hand. Clean the steel rod and insert it into the lower end of the cartridge. Slide over the lower mechanism and insert the two grub screws. Tighten these up with a 2mm Allen key. Slide the lower mechanism towards the upper tube and screw it in. Use your piece of leather and shifting spanner to do the final tightening. Your dropper post service is now complete. For more info about this product and our other products, visit linecomponents.com.